you run out of steam, but you have no choice but to continue. Continue fighting this thing called COVID that has upended and uprooted so many of our lives. A lot of the people are, are burnt out, as I'm sure most people are aware. Especially the heroes inside these hospitals. We have not had a single break of anything of any kind. Um, it's been consistent COVID ICU work for us since 18 months ago. An unfortunate reality during an unprecedented pandemic. Um, we deal with a lot of very sick patients. Um, we deal with a lot of death and a lot of emotional states that are high. Um, it's a disheartening place to work, especially after 18 months. Um, especially for nurses like Jefferson Peak at UC Health in Aurora. The disease hasn't gotten anywhere. Peak spends most of his time in the COVID unit, hoping to help those he has found a renewed love for, his patients. Anybody that I take care of, I consider them to be someone that I would know and love myself, and I take care of them as they were my own family member, um, despite whatever choices they make. Even as the unvaccinated keep ICU beds occupied. Daily patients that come in and say they don't believe in the vaccination, and or they believe this whole thing is a hoax, and and uh, it's, there's been times when the last words of someone being intubated is that. They don't believe in COVID and the vaccination was useless. And unfortunately, that was the last word they ever gave. But there's nothing more sad or devastating than having someone die on a ventilator while you're FaceTiming a family member. We do that all the time. It's a common thing for us. And so is death, both troubling and for peak, preventable. And one of my personal patients died two days ago, yeah, on a ventilator full support. It's an emotional toll those on the front lines endure. Peak was sent to Cornell Hospital in New York to assist during the initial surge in May 2020. Taking care of six patients at a time, and it was an absolute war zone. A war zone that has prepared him for this fight against the Delta variant. This Delta variant has made us had, have younger, sicker patients. We have 33-year-old, extremely healthy people that will never breathe the same again. He says if he could give a tour through this ICU, he would, to show the reality of what happens. Oh, absolutely. I've never seen anything as bad as this. I know our doctors are, are completely overworked and disheartened through this process. Pete hopes these final words will encourage others to care for one another the way he cares for his patients. I wish that people would make choices out of love for one another and free of anger and out of out of doing what's best as a citizen of this country. I'm Darius Johnson, Nine News.